Since the recent announcement of the Boss Fight 112 scale hacks line, I've been getting a lot of people asking and picking my brain about the 118 scale stuff, so I thought I would make this quick little video about the Vitruvian hacks. Dorklair. I've probably been collecting Boss Fight for as long as I've been collecting Mythic Legions, but I just have never gone as deep with the Boss Fight stuff as I have with the Legion stuff. But aside from the scale, there's quite a bit of similarity between the lines. I mean, they have Orcs, they have Knights, they have Elves, they have Skeletons. Let's take a look at a few of these figures. So here's the, the Blasted Lands Orc, essentially like a Fury Orc type thing. And there's a lot of like cool uh, functionality, like this helmet goes up and down and a lot of fun like playability with a lot of these figures so there's your there's your orc over here and then over here is a skeleton then i have an aquatic sort of lobster guy those two right here were customs and we'll talk about those in a bit and then i have an elf right here i forget her name ayalana or something like that pretty cool looking elf i think she was one of the earlier figures uh, we have a knight type character. This is like a dragon knight type character. Viamis. And he's actually got a skull underneath his helmet. I'm going to walk you through this entire figure after with all the accessories. We've got horses. So here's a look at Sox, the horse, <laughs> with one of the zombie figures from their zombie line on it. And they can be a little tricky to stand. They tend to kind of flop around a little bit there. But there you have a horse. And then the irradiated dead zombie that's got the clear plastic, very cool look. And then this piece I love, it's another horse. This is the Knight of Asperity on the black horse with Asperity like tack. So basically it's like they're evil knights characters. And yeah, it's just an awesome piece. They even have some pretty cool wizard and magic user type guys. This is Darsok, the orc mage. I don't know how well you can see it, but he's got a fairy trapped in his cage right here. Just a heck of a lot of really fun and interesting things going on in this line. And this is just a tiny sliver of what they offer. And I expect many of these things eventually down the road. I know they're starting with just skeletons, but I would expect knights and orcs and all these other things to make it into that 112 scale that they are starting to work on now. And if you're curious about the packaging, here's a look at a standard figure package. It's a sort of a clamshell type box, very similar to Mythic Legions actually, where you have this backer card that, that um, you know, slides in and out and you can kind of reseal it. And I have, I have most of these from this. I think this might've been the first wave or somewhere around the first, maybe second wave of the um, series two fantasy based stuff next up to give you a sense of a figure and kind of like everything it comes with and just give a little bit of a close-up here's vms and he's got this removable helmet a lot of the figures do have removable helmets one option is to have the skull on there these shoulder pieces are removable and um, oftentimes they'll have like a thigh piece that can peg in right there on the thigh lots of interchangeability with these figures there's a look at the back You'll find figures with options to put on the back. This ring right here is technically a peg hole and you can put like a sword or like a spell book on there. And he's got one on that side as well. Kind of a look at the, the legs. So you generally have double jointed knees, single jointed elbows. Um, there's a torso joint right there and then the head joint. So pretty decent articulation for these little guys. Very nicely put together figures. The paint jobs are very neat like this guy's got one of the best paint jobs he just looks so good this is one of the later figures i feel like they were able to like add more value in once their molds were paid for or whatever right so yeah and they're starting to have a quicker turnaround on pre-orders like they used to take the pre-orders then go to factory with the pre-orders but now they've been able to like go to production and then start taking pre-orders just to figure out the numbers so yeah, so this is VMS, and let me just show you what all he comes with. Like I showed before, he's got the helmet. He's got an extra pair of hands. A lot of the figures come with an extra pair of hands, but it's not like a different kind of hand. It's just sort of, you know, just sort of like if it breaks or something like that. Just an extra pair of gripping hands. Sword with sheath, and it's got a peg. You can peg it into one of those rings on the side there. Same thing with the knife right here. So some pretty good options. Things tend to get curled up a little bit. You can probably, probably heat that up and, and straighten it out. This piece actually kind of goes with his shoulder armor. I just didn't put it on underneath. They've got a little spell book right here. Paintwork is awesome on these, really nicely detailed. 
And this you can actually hang also from the peg hole right over here. You can peg that in on the side and have him holding a spell book like this. Got his alternate head sculpts. The heads pop on and off very easily. They feel a lot like um, like Hasbro heads or something, popping them on and off. And then one other nice little touch is they all come with a, a peg stand too. They're also really good for customizing. They're very customizer friendly. They sell blanks. This is a pair of unpainted brown legs. And I do have the torso in the um, in the upper body right there. So you can see kind of like how they pop together. You got that torso articulation. And um, yeah, give it a little bit of a look at the figure itself. Some of the newer figures in the Hacks line, I think maybe like their superhero characters, they're coming with a thigh swivel too, as well as ankle rockers. Not all the original figures had ankle rockers, so maybe they're adding, I'm hoping they're adding those to more figures. And then these two are a couple that I painted um, back when I was doing some more customs and had a little more time during the pandemic. Um, this is just a blank, I think it was a gray skeleton that I just painted a regular skeleton color just to kind of like practice my painting skills. And then this was pretty cool. During the pandemic, they were doing like these classes where you could pay uh, and get a kit and then you just had to buy your own paints and they did videos where they walked you through, they actually did live streams where you could learn how to paint a figure. And this one was, you know, from scratch, top to bottom was fully painted by myself per the uh, video tutorials from the boss fight people. In fact, those legs that I showed you before were from another kit um, that they did another lesson on that I, I, I haven't done yet. I kind of like it fell by the wayside and I stopped customizing and I need to get back into it and dig up those old videos and see if I can put this guy together and, and customize that one. Finally, one of the most popular questions I get about the Truvian hacks is how do they look with Mythic Legions? And obviously they're four inch figures. They're not gonna scale with Mythic Legions. However, there are some Mythic Legions that do make sense in that bigger scale with these four inch figures. For example, demons look really good with these guys. The boss fight figures make these Mythic Legions demons look monstrous and huge and just godlike. And I think it just works really well when you have some obscure creature type next to the smaller boss fight figures. Finally, if you wanna get into some truly epic proportions, check out these guys next to an ogre scale figure, which just for photography and dioramas, I think I do think Mythic Legions can work really well with the boss fight stuff. It's just, you have to kind of like scale your imagination into just a completely different place, but very, very cool. Now let's take a look at them next to a couple other like 1 18th or three and three quarter figures. First up, we have a Haya Toys Swamp Thing. It's actually my only Haya Toys. So it's being Swamp Thing, not a good one to get scale on with that. But if I know, I don't know if you, I guess if you have a Haya Swamp Thing, and you kind of can get a sense of what Swamp Thing looks like next to the other Haya Toys figures. Maybe that makes sense. I don't know. Um, but that's the Injustice Swamp Thing. And then on the right is the Vintage Collection Mandalorian. The Vintage Collection stuff, Star Wars stuff in general, is going to be a little bit smaller than these. Like the 3 and 3 quarter versus the 1 18th scale tends to be a slightly different. But the skeleton's a little smaller, and it kind of goes size-wise fairly well with a uh, vintage collection figure. And last but not least, we've got a couple other ones. On the left is a Mezco Toys five points figure. And on the right is a Zika Toys Sectars figure. That pretty much does it for today. Thanks for checking it out. And until next time, may the force be with you.